Hi guys, I had a message under one of my videos. I had a comment and someone asked me to repost, you know, one of the videos that I posted uh, long ago. It's the video about the word of God and I made it around eight or nine months ago. So I'm gonna repost it. So before I put it, I'm gonna say this. We have to rem remember something, that the word of God is the power. The word of God is his will and the word of God is something that he has promised us, he has ordained for us. And it's not only for those, you know, who were in the past in the Bible. It's If it's an ultimate, it's still for us. The same way Psalm 91 is for us. The same way Psalm 23 is for us. The same way Psalm 27 is for us. Psalm 35 is for us and many things are for us, right? The same time, arise and shine for your light has come is for us. So I want to explain uh, something. So the video that, that I started, uh, the scriptures that I started giving in that video, it was about the will of God. So uh, because the most important thing for us is to have the will of God upon our lives. For the, oh, ew, flies in my car. So the, I left the window open in one side and there is a fly, like him. So, um, the perfect will of God be done, right? For the God to establish us. And then I also have uh, um, scriptures, you know, how to pray for the safety, for the protection, for preservation, how to use the Bible, you know, the scriptures to declare the blessings of God because the Bible has promises of blessings, of benefits, of all the good things. The video is long, but it will help you. You can make notes, you know, and pray daily those scriptures all the scriptures that I mentioned in that video I used to pray them I I don't think there is even one scripture that I have never prayed I prayed all of them and there is a power in the word it's one thing when we just pray from our heart and we ask God for things and yes it's also powerful because the prayer of the righteous is powerful but it's another thing also when we add the word of God you know the rock the foundation the firm foundation to our prayers and that will make them even stronger even more amazing these are the promises of God so God bless you I'm gonna give uh, some prayer points this is for very new Christians for baby Christians I noticed that there were people coming to my page in my videos and some of them did not really understand how to pray you know sometimes when you're a new baby christian i remember myself when i accepted jesus i did not know how to pray and there was nobody around me actually to teach me <laughs> um so i want to give a prayer point as for the lord to lead you i want to give prayer point uh for the lord to protect you to guide you uh, if of course if you know all things this might not be for you the you know the message but I'm led by the spirit to do that so as I'm gonna be praying uh, giving the prayer points I will be posting uh, the scripture from where I'm getting it so let's go lead me Lord as we wake up we that's what we can ask every day lead me Lord in your righteousness because of my enemies make my way straight before my face let me, Lord, that I put my trust in you rejoice. Let me shout for joy, Lord, because you defend me. Let me, that I love your name, be joyful in you, Lord. For you, Lord, will bless the righteous. I am righteous through the blood of Jesus, Lord. For you, Lord, will bless me. With favor, you will compass me as with a shield. Lord, your word says, commit your works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Lord, I commit my day into your hands. I commit my life into your hands and I decree and I declare that my thoughts and everything about me is established by you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that you will go before me, make crooked places straight, break in pieces the gates of brass, cut in sunder the bars of iron. In you, Lord, I do lift my, my soul. My God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait on you be ashamed, but let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. 
In you, Lord, I wait all day long. Lord, your word says in verse 8, Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners his way. Lord, teach me your way. Your word says the meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Lord, please teach me your way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimony. Lord, Lord, I pray that all your paths will be mercy and truth toward me. Lord, your word says that you love judgment and you forsake not your saints. They are preserved forever. Lord, according to your word, I decree and I declare, I am preserved forever. Your word says the law of God is in his heart. Lord, your law is in my heart. None of my steps will slide. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Lord, your word says that you will not leave your people in the hands of the enemy, nor condemn them when they are judged. Father, I pray that you will be the one who will ordain every step I take. And I pray that none of my steps will slide in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray your word says, commit your ways unto the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Lord, I commit my day to you. I commit my life to you. And I pray that you will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Also, you can pray Psalm 23. It is written that God is your shepherd. This is a very good Psalm to pray every day where the Lord will be the one who is leading you. Also, you can pray Psalm 91 every day, every single day, sometimes I prayed even two times a day because of the warfare. Okay, next prayers I will give is surely, um, you know, it's protection, safety, and defense of the Lord. So Lord God, Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. My defense is of God, which saves the upright in the heart. Your word says, Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the times of trouble. And they that know your name, Lord, will put their trust in you, for you have not forsaken, Lord, them that seek you. Your word says, Lord, salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in a time of trouble. And your word says, Father, that you will help us. For we are your saints. I am your saint. You will help me, Lord, and deliver me. You will deliver me from the wicked and save me because I put my trust in you. Your word says, Lord, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Lord, I call upon you so you shall deliver me from trouble. According to your word in Psalm 59, Lord, Deliver me, Lord, from my enemies. My God, defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. Also, you can pray Psalm 35. 35 is a very, very powerful Psalm that I used to pray when I was in a very bad warfare and attacks of the witches and wizards. Let's go to Psalm 62. It says, truly my soul wait upon God. From him comes my, my salvation. He is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. My soul wait only upon you, Lord, for my expectation is from you. You are my rock and my salvation. You are my defense. I shall not be moved. In you, God, is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in, is, is, is in you, Lord. Your word says that we can trust in you at all times and we can pour our hearts before you for you are the refuge for all of us lord i decree and i declare you are my refuge make haste god to deliver me make haste to help me let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt let them be turned back for the word of their shame that say aha let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. Lord, I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me. Make haste. You are my help and my deliverer. Lord, make no time. Lord, your word says in Psalm 94, They gather themselves together against the soul of righteous and condemn the innocent blood. 
but you, Lord, is my defense. And my God is the rock of my refuge. And you will bring, Lord, upon my enemies their own iniquity, and you will cut them off in their own wickedness. Lord, in Psalm 121, it is written, that my help comes from you, Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. You will not suffer my foot to be moved. You that keep me will not slumber. You that keep me shall neither sleep nor slumber. Lord, you are my keeper, the shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. But you, Lord, will preserve me from all evil. You will preserve my soul, my going out, and my coming in, in Jesus' name. Your word says, Lord, in Psalm 138, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. And you, Lord, you will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your own hands. Next one, we can also you can also pray Psalm 140. It is very long. I'm not going to pray it, but I'm giving it to you as a prayer point. Lord, your word says in Psalm 125, They that trust in God, they shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abides forever. According to your word, Lord, I decree and I declare, I am shall be like Mount Zion. I will not be removed and I will abide forever. And as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, Lord, it is written, you're round about your people. You are round about me. And the rod of the wicked will not rest upon me. Lord, it is written in Proverbs, the fear of man brings a snare, but whoso puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Lord, I put my trust in you and I decree and I declare, I am safe in Jesus' name. Lord, I wait upon you. I wait upon you, God. And it is written, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Your word says, Lord, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Lord, my mind stayed on you and i decree and i declare you will keep me in perfect peace even in the time of battle i shall have peace because i trust in you and your word says trust in the lord forever for in the lord jehovah is everlasting strength lord i decree and i declare my strength is in you your word says fear not for i am with thee be not dismayed i am your god lord you are with me you are my god and you will straighten me and help me and uphold me with the right hand of your righteousness. And your word says, Behold, all they that were incensed against me shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. They that strive with me shall perish. And your word says, I will seek them and I will not even find them. Even them that contended with me, they that were against me shall be as nothing as a thing of naught. For your word says, You, Lord, my God, you will hold my right hand, saying unto me, Fear not, I will help thee. Yes, Lord, I decree and I declare that you will help me. Lord, your word says, When I pass through the waters, you will be with me. Through the rivers, they will not overflow me. When I walk through the fire, I will not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon me. I decree and I declare, Lord, as your word says, in righteousness I shall be established, I shall be far from oppression. I will not fear even from the terror, for it shall not come near me. Surely your word says, Lord, yes, they will gather together. But because it is not by you, Lord, your word says, Whosoever gather against me, they shall fall for my sake. No weapon fashioned and formed against me will prosper. Lord, your word says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Lord, I call upon your name, so shall I be delivered from my enemies. Lord, in, the, in your word, in Luke, it is written that we should be saved from our enemies, from the hand of all the that hate us. Lord, save me from my enemies and from the hand of all them that hate me. In 74, it is written that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear 
Lord, I pray you will deliver me out of the hand of my enemies, so as I will serve you without fear in holiness and righteousness before you all the days of my life. Lord, your word says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Lord, I decree and I declare, no one will be able to stand before me. As it is written in the book of Joshua, they shall not any man be able to stand before me all the days of my life. As you were with Moses, you will be with me. You will not fail me and you will not forsake me. Lord, your word says in Deuteronomy, the eternal God is my refuge and underneath are everlasting arms. You will thrust out the enemy from before me. You shall say, destroy them, and I shall dwell in safety alone. And your word says, and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Lord, I decree and I declare that you bruise Satan shortly under my feet in Jesus' name. Lord, your word says, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of god our father lord i decree and i declare i shall be delivered from the evil because it is the will of the father in jesus name lord according to your word it is written but the lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil yes lord you will establish me and keep me from evil and it is written in Second Timothy, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. And your word says, For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I call upon your name, Lord, so shall I be saved from my enemies. And your word says, Lord, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for you, Lord, only make me dwell in safety. Lord, I love you. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Also, I advise you to pray Psalm 27. This is a very powerful psalm. Very powerful. Okay, next one. Blessed be the Lord, because He has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in Him, and I am helped. Lord, I trust in You. You are my shield. And as Your Word says, I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice and with my song I will praise you. You are my strength and my saving strength for I am Lord your anointed. Lord your word says say to the righteous it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruits of their doings. Lord I decree and I declare that it is well with me and your word says woe to the, unto the wicked it shall be ill with him for a word of his hands shall be given to him. Lord, whosoever wants to bring an evil load in my life, any kind of witchcraft done against me, witchcraft practices, works of witches and wizards, sorceries, incantations, curses, spells, divinations, whatever evil the enemy, the evil ones wants to bring, want to bring in my life, your word says, let each carry his own load. Lord, I pray that the carriers of evil load, they will carry the evil load in Jesus' name, for I refuse to carry evil load. I refuse, I reject every satanic proposal for my life and for my destiny. Whatsoever enemies proposing, I reject it and I refuse it. And I decree and I declare, Lord, that my life and my destiny, my glory shall align only with the word of God. It will not align with the word of the enemy. Lord, you are my refuge. And it is written, for thou hast been a strength to the poor, strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is at, as a storm against the wall. Lord, you are my strength. You are my refuge. You are my shadow, and I will not be moved. Lord, you are my hiding place, and your word says that you shall preserve me from trouble, and you will compass me about with the songs of deliverance. Your word says, Lord, the righteous cry, and Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. 
The Lord is nigh unto them that are of broken heart and save such as to be of contrite spirit. Many are afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, none of them is broken. Lord, I cry to you, and I decree, and I declare, you deliver me out of all my troubles, and none of my bones will be broken. The Bible says, Lord, that you redeem the soul of your servants, none that trust in you shall be desolate. Lord, you are my king. Come on, deliverance for me. Through you, Lord, I will push down my enemies. Through your name, I will treat them that rise up against me. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But you, Lord, you have saved me from my enemies. And you put to shame them that hate me. Lord, your word says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Yes, Lord, you are my refuge. You are my strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, I will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. But Lord, I will not be moved, because you, I know that you are on my side. Lord, be merciful unto me. Be merciful, Lord, for my soul trusts in you. And in the shadow of your wings, I will make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performs all things for me. Yes, Lord, your word says that you perform all things for me. You will send from heaven and save me from reproach of him that will swallow me up. Hear my voice, God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me, Lord, from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Lord, cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto you to hide me. Teach me to do your will. You are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And out of your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Lord, whosoever wants to bring evil in my life, I decree and I declare that my life rejects evil load. For your word says in Proverbs, to the righteous good shall be repaid. Lord, I decree and I declare I will not be paid with evil in my life, but I shall be repaid with good in Jesus' name. Lord, your word says the righteous is delivered out of trouble. Lord, already I decree and I declare whatsoever trouble the enemy wants to bring in my life, I am delivered out of trouble. You see, the Bible says, Lord, in Proverbs, the just shall come out of trouble, and there shall no evil happen to the just. Lord, whatsoever trouble the enemy wants to bring, I come out victorious, and there shall no evil happen to me. In Jesus' name. Lord, your word says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in it, with, and it's safe. Lord, you are my strong, uh, strong tower and I am safe. Lord, your word says, you are the God who disappoints devices of the crafty, so the hands will not be able to perform the enterprise. Lord, I pray, whatsoever stands as devices of the crafty in my life, whatsoever stands as evil enterprise, satanic enterprise, I decree and I declare, they are frustrated. Or, guys, you can wage the war if you, are, if you know you're under attack, if you know the enemy is plotting something evil. You can say, in Jesus' name, I release fire. I disappoint by fire of God. Every device of the craft, every evil enterprise, I disappoint them by fire of God in Jesus' name. For you, and, and you can keep praying and you can say, for your word says, Lord, for they intended evil against me, and they imagined mischievous device which they are not able to perform. So Lord, according to your word, whatsoever enemy imagined 
to do in my life, to do in my family, to do at my work, in any sphere of my life, in anything concerning me. But your words as it is written, they will not be able to perform. So you see, every time you pray, you use scriptures and you always say it is written. If the enemy is doing something, you should say it is written, the Lord disappoints the enemy. It is written, I shall dwell in safety. It is written, this is very powerful scripture that I gave you just now, Psalm 21, 11. The, it, is, it is the word of God. The God says they intended evil. Yes, they imagined mischievous devices which they're not able to perform. And you can say it every single day. They will not be able to perform. It is written, they will not be able to perform. Also, it is written the word of God. The Lord God frustrates the tokens of liars and make diviners mad. That's another scripture you can use against evil powers, against the witches, the wizards that turn into demons. You know, there is different kind of witchcraft. There are witches that do like, you know, like light magic and it's one thing. There are witches and wizards that they become demons. They leave their body. They can astral project. They can turn into animals. And that's why many people, when you are under witchcraft, you see dreams where you're beaten by dogs. They come and they bite you. The dogs. You see different things, different animals. These are the witches and wizards. They can be transformed into them. At some moment, they become so evil. They go into such, you know, such a deep darkness that there is no return. You know, yes, we should pray for our enemies, but the time comes when... The judgment has to come upon them. So, okay, these are, as, these are some scriptures about protection, safety, for God to be your refuge, that you need to speak, you need to pray. You can choose which one, for which situation, you know, you're going through. Also, you need to speak blessings over your life. And let's go to the blessings. Already I gave you Psalm 5. And it is written, For you, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will compass him as with a shoe. So you can say in Jesus' name, Lord, you bless me. I am blessed and I am favored. The Bible says, Psalm 41, Blessed is he that considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. If you consider the poor, if you help others, that is the verse for you as well. You say, Lord, I decree and I declare it is written that those who consider the poor, they are blessed. I am blessed. And you will deliver me, Lord, in a time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Lord, you will preserve me and you will keep me alive. And I shall be blessed upon the earth. And you will not deliver me unto the will of my enemies. That's what you can pray every day. Next one, blesses the nation whose God is Lord and people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Lord, according to your word, I am blessed in Jesus' name. I am blessed. The Proverbs, he that has a bountiful eye shall be blessed for he gives of his bread to the poor. Say, Lord, in Jesus' name, I decree and I declare, I shall be blessed. The Bible says, Lord, those who fear you and trust in you, you will be the help and the shield. Here it is written. Lord, as I fear you, as I trust in you, I decree and I declare you are my help, you are my shield. You are mindful of me. You will bless me. You will bless my house. You will bless me for I fear you. And you shall increase me more and more in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and add no sorrow. Lord, I decree and I declare, I shall be blessed and I will not have sorrow. Because we know the enemy is trying, you know, when God is blessing us, the enemy is trying to bring some ugly situations, you know. So the, so the, the blessing that God is giving us, you know, will not bring us, uh, you know, joy. So that's what you do every day. You decree and you declare that you are blessed. And that is a very powerful scripture. I always say that, Lord... I will not have sorrow in my life. I will not have it because your word says the blessings of God make rich and they add no sorrow. Lord, your word says, 
Blessed is the man that trusts in Lord, whose hope is Lord, for he shall be as a tree planted by the water. So you can put the scripture on yourself. Lord, I trust in you. You are my hope. I am blessed and I shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreads out her roots by the river. I will not see when the heat comes, but, but, her leaf, but my leaf shall be green and even the drought will not touch me. The word says, he that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, the righteousness from God of his salvation. Then you can pray, Lord, it is written, the angel of the Lord and comes around the them that fear God and delivers them. Lord, I decree, I declare, I, de I am delivered out of every trouble. Lord, your word says, taste and see the Lord is good. Blesses the man that trust in him. Father, I am blessed in Jesus' name. Fear the Lord, hear his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Lord, I fear you, and I decree, I declare, I lack nothing. There shall be no want in my life. The Bible says, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Lord, I will not lack a good thing in my life. I shall have luck every day. I shall have good things in Jesus' name. I'm sorry, I mean I shall have no luck, but I shall have good things. Let's go to Psalm 1. And it is written. Let's go to Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and, his, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Meaning, you know, in the Bible and what God has given us. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. So what you do, you say, I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit. He le his leaf shall not wither, whatever he does shall prosper. So you say, Lord, I shall be blessed. I shall be like a fruitful tree by the rivers of water. I shall bear fruits in any season. And whatever I do, I shall prosper in Jesus' name. Next one. The Bible says, they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. Thou shall make them drink the river of pleasure. We are talking about children of God. We are talking about the righteous. You are righteous. So you should say, in Jesus' name, I decree and I declare, I shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of my house. I shall drink the river of pleasure. The Bible says, here we go. I shall not be ashamed in evil time and in the days of famine. I shall be satisfied, for I am blessed of the Lord. I shall inherit the earth. And by the way, this is a very good psalm. If you go to verse 17, so you see it says, For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. So when you pray and when you say, No weapon fashion formed against me, and you also can say, Whatsoever weapon is created, whatsoever arm you know the enemy has, they shall be broken. You see, the Bible says, even in verse 15, their sword shall enter into their own heart. So whoever is coming with the sword against you, the Bible says, their sword shall enter into their own hearts and their bows shall be broken. Now we're going to go to one of my favorite scriptures. And it is written, Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. Every day as you wake up, what do you do? You declare the word of God and you say, in Jesus' name, it is written that the Lord loads me daily with benefits. I shall have daily benefits in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, we shall go from glory to glory. So you, sh you should say, in Jesus' name, today I shall go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name. The I shall have daily benefits in Jesus' name. I shall be satisfied with the fatness of my house in Jesus' name. I shall dwell in safety in Jesus' name. Okay, if we go uh, to verse 71, for somebody, you know, for those who went through warfare and had some troubles and problems, look what it says. Thou, which has shown me great and sore troubles, shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. You can use it as a prayer point. Say, Lord, I decree and I declare 
that I have comfort, I have rest, I have peace in you, and you increase my greatness. And as Psalm 115 says, and the Lord shall increase me more and more in Jesus' name. According to Deuteronomy 28, I decree and I declare, I shall be blessed and all these blessings shall come upon me. Actually, I think I released the video where you, when I said, decree and I declare, declare to, uh, Deuteronomy 28 upon your life. And there it is written that you shall be the head and not the tail. Say it every day. Lord, in Jesus' name, I shall be the head and not the tail. Now we go to Psalm 91. It says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like cedar in Lebanon. So you see any power trying to bring dryness in my life, drought in my life, any power trying to stop me from flourishing, stop me from growing. You are a liar. Actually in, let me yeah, bear with me. I have this to tell you. In Deuteronomy, I gave you the scripture before 33, but uh, I gave you 27 and 28. If we go to 29, it says, Happy art thou, O Israel. You are Israel. You understand? You're a child of God. You're a chosen nation of God. Who is like unto thee, O people, say by the Lord, the shield of the help, the sword of the excellency. And look what it says here. And the enemy shall be found liars unto thee. And thou shalt tread upon the high places. So whatsoever enemy is trying to bring in your life, Huh. You wake up and you say, the enemy is a liar. It is written in the word of God. It is written in the Bible. The enemy is a liar. Well, any evil situation you see, you decree the liar. You said, that is a lie. That is a lie. I shall treat upon that situation. That is a lie. This is a very powerful soul. You see the enemy is trying to bring luck in your life, scarcity or poverty or you, you you feel it you know you know the warfare you see the dreams God is revealing to you you get up and you say the enemy is a liar that thing that enemy is trying to bring in my life that is a lie and it is written that I shall flourish like the palm tree I shall grow like cedar of Lebanon like if you go Psalm 107 I love this psalm, psalm and it says they then they cry unto Lord in their trouble and he brings them out of their distress. So you say, Lord, bring me out of my distress. He makes the storm calm. Say, Lord, I decree and I you may declare you're making every storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Let's go next one and says, he turns the wilderness into standing water, dry ground into water springs. So say, Lord, whatever is dry, I decree and I declare you are turning it into water, into water springs. And then it says, he blessed them also so that they are multiplied greatly and suffered not their cattle to decrease. So you say, Lord, I decree and I declare I am blessed. I shall have no decrease in my life. Your word says it is written in Psalm 115, the Lord shall increase me more and more and here it is written i shall have no decrease also psalm 103 bless the lord my soul forget not his benefits who forgives all the iniquities who heals all the diseases who redeems the life from destruction and crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed like eagles the Lord execute righteousness and judgment for the oppressed. Also, you know, uh, we all know that scripture that those who wait upon God, they shall be, they shall renew their strength every day. They shall soar on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. We know the scripture uh, that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, uh, some people, they read only New Testament. They don't go back to the Old Testament, even though these are, it is written in, in Revelation, listen please to that, they overcame by the blood of Jesus and by their testimony. The testimony of Jesus Christ is a spirit of prophecy. So what God did before Jesus did for his people in Old Testament, because surely it was Jesus, that is a spirit of prophecy. You decree and you declare these scriptures upon your life as well. It is for all of us. It's not just what was done before. No, every word in the Bible has life. It is a life, whether it's New Testament, whether it's Old Testament. You take um, 
let me let me show you something that we have been praying with our you know with my christian friends when uh god was telling us it is time for you to fight yes battle belongs to the lord but also if you remember with israel god was saying yes it is me god i want you battle but still you go and fight there were times that god wants us to fight with our prayers with our words it is god who is fighting but we are praying so the prayer is the weapon the word of god is the sword of the spirit so and that's what we pray first samuel 30 uh verse 8 and david david inquired at the lord saying shall i pursue after this troop shall i overtake them and the Lord answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake without fail, recover all. So that's what you do. You can wage the warfare. said, In the name of Jesus, by fire, by force, by the fire of God, by the power of the Lord, I pursue, I pursue my enemies, and I will overtake, and without fail, I recover all. Everything that was taken from me in my life, everything that was taken by me, especially those who are going through witchcraft, because witch, witches and wizards, they steal. They steal. Yeah. That's what they do. They, they love to steal from people. To take what, what is yours, they, they, always, they will always take it 100%. So that was what you do. You recover all. You pray. And it is written there in verse 18. And David recovered all that, he, that the enemies carried away. So that's what you do. You say, I recover all. I overtake. I pursue. I overtake. I recover all. Also, you know that you are a chosen child of God. You are anointed of God. Those who are in Christ were anointed of God. And the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And that's what you can pray as well. For you are anointed of God. If you see dreams of shame or if you have any shameful situation, let me explain something. What is shame? Shame is something... Uh, sometimes enemy is bringing something in our lives and we are even embarrassed and ashamed to, to share it with other people, thinking like the other people say, that, where is your God? Like, why God is not helping? You know, there are some situations that are a little bit shameful, but we can pray against that. We can ask God to remove every shame. Psalm 25, you pray. That's what God gave me. Romans 9.33, it is written, those who believed in God, they trust in Him, they will never be put to shame. 31, that's what I used to pray. In you, Lord, I do put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me and deliver me speedily. Be, Lord, my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. You are my rock. You are my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me and you know um i had a story i used to be friends with some christians you know in the group and they betrayed me uh we were used to we used to pray together we we were so nice to each other and uh before it happened few days before it happened lord came to me and he told me he gave me romans 933 and he said those who believe in me they will never be ashamed so the enemy you know came and saw evil evil ideas evil thoughts about me and people did not ask god they just made their conclusion on the base of what the enemy brought but this is what god says and take it for granted those who believe in god those who trust in god they will never be put to shame God will vindicate you. God will clear your name and you will never be put to shame. So there are so many, so many scriptures, you know, I can keep giving you because it's so much. But you know what I want to do? I want to give you another one. And, you know, the rest maybe I can put later. Psalm 112. I'm not going to read it all, but this is a very powerful psalm to pray. Because it is written, the, you know, that uh, wealth and riches in the house of righteous, that we are, will not be afraid, but we will see the desire upon our enemies. You know, but it is written in Psalm 112, desire of the wicked shall perish. That is a very powerful scripture to pray and to declare that whatever, whatsoever the enemy is desiring 
for you to have, for you to happen, you know, in your life. It is written, Thou says the Lord, the desire of the wicked shall perish. So God bless you. Pray the scriptures. Try to remember some of them. These are scriptures for many situations in your life. These are scriptures that help me so much in my warfare, in those satanic and demonic attacks when the witches were coming and they were cutting my glory. I saw dreams of nakedness where I was naked when I was bathing. You know, naked, it means shame. That enemy wants to bathe you with shame. So how do you fight against it? How do you cancel it? You need to fight. You need to cancel it. You need to speak. You use the word of God. So the word of God, it has answer and prayer for every situation. God bless you.